With a plethora of avian species that inhabit planet Earth, each having unique characteristics and adaptations, it is the exceptionally huge birds that truly attract our attention. We are about to explore the fascinating world of these species that soar in the skies and sprint across the lush fields. Join us as we reveal the 15 largest birds on the planet. Number 15. Ostrich. Dare to enter the world of these magnificent creatures, the mighty ostriches. Colossal flightless birds rule the land with their sheer size and unmatched speed. They hold the record for being the heaviest living birds on the planet, dwarfing all others in their presence. And when it comes to laying eggs, they hold nothing back, producing the largest eggs known to mankind. With lightning-fast legs, they sprint at mind-boggling speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour, leaving even the swiftest competitors in the dust. Their remarkable agility earned them the title of the speedsters of the avian world. But that's not all. These fascinating creatures have captivated the global population, becoming stars of both industry and style. Ostrich farms thrive worldwide, particularly in the vibrant landscapes of the Philippines and Namibia. Why, you ask? It's all about the luxurious ostrich leather that fetches a pretty penny in the market. And those splendid feathers? They grace the ceremonial headgear of the elite, adding an exquisite touch to grand occasions. Ostrich Ostriches belong to the illustrious Struthio genus, a distinguished group of flightless birds known as ratitis, which also includes emus, rias, cassowaries, and kiwis. While only two species of ostrich exist today, the common ostrich and the Somali ostrich, they once roamed vast territories from sub-Saharan Africa to the Arabian Peninsula. In fact, their presence extended as far as Asia, reaching China and Mongolia in ancient times. Get ready for a scientific twist, delving into their taxonomic history history, we find that the genius Carl Linnaeus himself first described the genus Struthio back in 1758. Initially, it encompassed not only ostriches, but also emus, rias, and cassowaries. However, these magnificent creatures are so unique that they earned their own distinct genera. Struthionidae, the ostrich family, emerged during the early Eocene and spread across the northern hemisphere during the Eocene epoch. Their closest relatives, the Ergolornithidae, hailed from Asia, indicating that ostriches likely originated on the vibrant continent. Fossil records show that Africa became the birthplace of the Struthio genus around 21 million years ago, and from there, they journeyed across Eurasia, conquering new territories. Today, ostriches thrive in the wild only in Africa, inhabiting diverse habitats ranging from arid savannas to the Sahel. The Somali ostrich, distinguished by its geographic isolation, evolved separately from its common ostrich cousin. However, where their territories intersect, these two subspecies remain remain distinct due to behavioral and ecological differences. In a tragic turn of events, Arabian ostriches met their demise in Asia Minor and Arabia, hunted to extinction during the 20th century. Attempts to reintroduce North African ostriches in Israel as a replacement failed. Meanwhile, cunning common ostriches managed to escape to Australia, establishing thriving feral populations. Throughout history, ostriches have left their mark. Fossil remnants unveil a myriad of prehistoric ostrich species, from the Asian ostrich to the East Asian Asian ostrich dating back to the late Pleistocene. These enigmatic beings whisper secrets of ancient times captivating our imaginations. Number 14. Cassowary Cassowaries, captivating and unique flightless birds, dominate the tropical forests of New Guinea, Papua New Guinea, West Papua, and Northeastern Australia. Among the three species, the southern cassowary stands out as the third tallest and second heaviest bird globally. With a diverse diet, including fruits, shoots, seeds, invertebrates, and even small vertebrates, these birds exhibit impressive adaptability. While generally wary of humans, they can be dangerous if provoked. Their physical attributes are awe-inspiring with females larger and more colorful than males. Standing at around 2 meters tall and weighing around 59 kilograms on average, these birds can reach even greater sizes. Their sharp claws and impressive speed of up to 50 kilometers per hour make them formidable in the dense forest, and they are skilled swimmers as well. Cassowaries possess a striking cask on their heads, which grows larger with age. Despite their solitary nature, they come together during courtship, egg-laying, and feasting periods. 
female cassowaries venture among the territories of multiple males, while males guard their own territory. Breeding season occurs from May to June, with females laying vibrant green or pale green-blue eggs in carefully prepared nests. As keystone species, cassowaries play a crucial role in rainforest ecosystems. By consuming and dispersing seeds through their digestive system, they ensure the cycle of life and growth in the jungle. They are true guardians of the forest, maintaining its delicate balance. Number 13. Emu The emu, also known as Dromaeus novae hollandiae, is the second tallest bird worldwide, with the ostrich being its only taller relative. Found exclusively in Australia, it is the largest native bird and the sole surviving species in its genus. Although emus once inhabited most parts of the mainland, the Tasmanian, Kangaroo Island, and King Island subspecies became extinct following European settlement in 1788. These flightless birds have soft brown feathers, long necks, and legs, reaching heights of up to two meters. The origin of the name emu is uncertain, possibly stemming from an Arabic term for a large bird used by Portuguese explorers to describe the cassowary in Australia and New Guinea. Emus are the fourth or fifth heaviest bird, weighing slightly more on average than an emperor penguin. They have vestigial wings, long necks, and legs, allowing them to run at speeds of 48 kilometers per hour. Emus have unique tridactyl feet, a blue neck, and gray-brown plumage for camouflage. They possess adaptations such as nictitating membranes to protect their eyes and a tracheal pouch during mating season. Emus are diurnal birds that engage in various activities throughout the day, including foraging, preening, dust bathing, and resting. They are generally social birds, except during the breeding season when they become more solitary. Emus are capable of swimming although they rarely do so unless necessary due to flooding or crossing a river. At sunset, emus settle down for the night but wake up periodically. On hot days, they pant to regulate their body temperature. They have specialized respiratory adaptations that allow them to cool down efficiently. Emus have a broad diet, consuming plants, insects, and other arthropods. They also play a crucial role in seed dispersal. Breeding pairs are formed during the summer and males construct nests on the ground using various materials. The nests are usually flat but can be taller in colder conditions. The nests are strategically placed for predator detection. The emu pair mates regularly, and the female lays one large, thick-shelled green egg every few days. The egg is big in size and weighs between 450 and 650 grams. The maternal investment in the egg is significant, with a higher proportion of yolk to albumin compared to other precocial eggs. Emu eggs can exhibit genetic twinning, and during incubation, the egg changes color from pale green to dark green. If the egg doesn't hatch, it may turn white due to sun bleaching. Emus were historically hunted by indigenous Australians and early European settlers for food and resources. They are curious birds and may approach humans if they detect unexpected movements. Aboriginal Australians used very various techniques to catch emus, including spearing them at water holes, using nets, and attracting them with calls or decoys. Number 12. Harpy Eagle the harpy eagle, a large and powerful neotropical species of eagle, is found in tropical rainforests but has suffered habitat loss and is nearly extinct in some regions. The eagle has slate black feathers on its upper side and white feathers on its underside, with a distinctive double crest on its pale gray head. Females weigh between 6 to 9 kilograms and males are smaller, weighing 4 to 6 kilograms. They have a total length of 86 to 107 centimeters and a wingspan of 176 to 224 centimeters. Harpy eagles primarily inhabit rainforests and prefer to nest and hunt in the upper canopy layer. They are most commonly found in Brazil and are nearly extinct in Central America. The eagles are skilled hunters and use perch hunting, sit-and-wait tactics, and occasionally tail chasing to capture prey. Their diet includes large prey such as sloths and monkeys, with monkeys making up a significant portion of their diet. Nests are built high up in trees, usually in the main fork, and are made of sticks. The female lays two white eggs, but typically only one chick survives as the second egg is often ignored. Incubation takes around 56 days, and the parents continue to feed and care for the chick for several months after it fledges. Harpy eagles mate for life and usually raise one chick every two to three years. They reach breeding maturity at four to six years of age and can be aggressive toward humans if they perceive a threat to their nesting site or young. Number 11. King Penguin 
The king penguin, resembling the emperor penguin, captivates us with its elegance and charm. Found in the South Atlantic and South Indian Ocean, it displays grace both in the air and underwater. Diving up to depths of 300 meters, it fearlessly hunts lanternfish, squid, and krill, facing off against predators like giant petrels, skuas, and leopard seals. Standing 70 to 100 centimeters tall, these monomorphic birds impress with their beauty. Males call out to establish their dominance, while their agility in water compensates for their slightly smaller size compared to the emperor penguin. On land, the king penguin showcases a wobbly walk and a delightful tobogganing spectacle sliding on their bellies across icy terrain. Their diet includes various fish species, squid and krill, with lanternfish being a favorite. The king penguin displays fidelity by mating with one partner per year, but shows less loyalty between breeding seasons. Their breeding cycle lasts 14 to 16 months, and both parents share the responsibility of incubation and nurturing their chicks. Thriving king penguin colonies grace the sub-Antarctic landscape, with an estimated population of 2.23 million pairs and is further growing. From the Crozet Islands to Tierra del Fuego, these majestic birds establish their dominion and continue to flourish. Number 10. Andean Condor the Andean condor, the largest flying bird in the world, is a vulture found in the Andes Mountains and nearby Pacific coasts of western South America. With a wingspan of 3.3 meters and weighing 15 kilograms, it is the largest bird of prey. Males have white feathers at the neck base and on the wings, while the head and neck are mostly featherless and dull red. The female is smaller than the male, which is uncommon for birds of prey. Being a scavenger, the Andean condor primarily feeds on carrion, preferably large carcasses like deer or cattle. It matures sexually around five or six years and nests at elevations up to 5,000 meters on inaccessible rock ledges. Typically, one or two eggs are laid and the condor has an exceptional lifespan, with some living over 70 years. Courtship displays involve color changes, inflating the neck and chest, hissing and wing extension. They lay bluish white eggs weighing around 280 grams, incubating them for 54 to 58 days. If lost, another egg is laid. Juveniles have grayish down and begin flying after six months, remaining with their parents until a new clutch is laid. Andean condors mainly feed on carrion, traveling long distances to find it. They feed on large carcasses, including domestic animals, and coastal condors rely on beached marine mammal carcasses. They may also hunt small live animals by repeatedly jabbing them with their bill. Their lifespan in the wild is estimated to exceed 50 years. Number 9. California Condor the California condor is a critically endangered bird species that is native to the western coastal mountains of the United States. With a wingspan of up to 3 meters and a weight of around 11 to 15 kilograms, it is one of the largest flying birds in North America. Historically, the California condor's range extended from British Columbia to Mexico, but due to habitat loss, poaching, and lead poisoning, its population declined drastically throughout the 20th century. By the 1980s, the species faced extinction, and in 1987, all remaining wild individuals were captured for a captive breeding program. The last of these birds were reintroduced into the wild in California in 1992. California condors have a unique appearance with black feathers, bare heads, and a distinctive fleshy comb on top of their heads. They are scavengers and primarily feed on carrion, using their keen eyesight to locate carcasses from great distances. Despite their large size, condors are remarkably graceful in flight, soaring for long periods on thermals and utilizing updrafts along cliffs. Condors seek a mate at around six years old. The male displays by turning his head red, puffing out his neck feathers, spreading his wings, and approaching the female slowly. If she accepts by lowering her head, they become lifelong mates. They nest in caves or on cliffs near roosting trees and open spaces. A female lays a bluish-white egg every other year. The egg weighs about 280 grams and measures 90 to 120 millimeters in length and 67 millimeters in width. If the egg or chick is lost, the parents lay another egg as a replacement. After 53 to 60 days of incubation, the chicks hatch with open eyes and take up to a week to leave the shell completely. They have grayish down and grow to nearly adult size. They can fly after five to six months but continue to stay with their parents until their second year when the parents focus on a new nest. Ravens pose a threat to condor eggs, while golden eagles and bears are potential predators of condor offspring.
offspring. Conservation efforts have been crucial for the survival of the California condor. Organizations such as the Ventana Wildlife Society and the Peregrine Fund have played significant roles in captive breeding, release programs, and monitoring of the wild population. Number 8. Cory Bustard the Cory Bustard is Africa's largest flying bird and belongs to the Bustard family. It is an opportunistic omnivore that dwells on the ground. Male Cory Bustards are much heavier than females and mate with multiple females without participating in raising the young. They create nests in shallow hollows on the ground, often camouflaged by nearby objects. The Cory Bustard has a cryptic coloration of gray and brown with black and white patterns. The male has a black crest, while the female's crest has less black. Their feathers can appear pinkish due to light-sensitive porphyrins. The Cory Bustard has a large head, long legs, and yellow eyes. Females are smaller and have slimmer legs and necks. Juveniles resemble females but are browner with more spotting. Male Cory Bustards have a length ranging from 105 to 135 centimeters and a wingspan of 230 to 275 centimeters. They typically weigh between 7 and 18 kilograms, with some exceptional individuals reaching up to 20 kilograms. The Cory Bustard is commonly found throughout southern Africa, except in densely wooded areas. They inhabit open grassy areas with sandy soil, often near isolated clumps of trees or bushes such as plains, arid plateaus, savannas, and semi-deserts. Cory bustards feed by slowly picking at the ground with their bills, particularly active during the first and last hours of daylight. They have an omnivorous diet, including insects like locusts, grasshoppers, and beetles, as well as small vertebrates, plant material, and acacia gum. They drink water by sucking it up. The two subspecies of Cory Bustards have distinguishable breeding seasons. Breeding is closely tied to rainfall and may be reduced or non-existent in drought years. Cory Bustards engage in lek mating, with males displaying impressive courtship behaviors to attract females. After mating, the female lays eggs in a shallow hollow on the ground near vegetation. The female incubates the eggs alone, and the chicks are precocial, able to follow their mother shortly after hatching. Breeding success is affected by environmental conditions, and young bustards reach maturity at three to four years old. In the wild, the lifespan of cory bustards is not well documented. However, in captivity, they have been known to live up to at least 26 or possibly 28 years old. Number 7. Wandering Albatross the wandering albatross, also known as the snowy albatross, white-winged albatross, or guni, is a large seabird found in the southern ocean. It belongs to the family Diomedidae and has a wide range across the southern ocean. Initially, it was believed to be the same species as the Tristan albatross and the Antipodean albatross, but recent proposals have suggested splitting them into separate species. The wandering albatross is one of the largest members of the Diomedia genus, similar in size to the southern royal albatross. It is renowned as one of the largest and most extensively studied bird species globally. It holds the record for the longest known wingspan of any living bird, spanning from two and a half to three and a half meters. Some individuals have been observed circumnavigating the Southern Ocean three times in a single year, covering over 120,000 kilometers. The body length of the wandering albatross ranges from 107 to 135 centimeters, with females slightly smaller than males. Adults can weigh between six and 13 kilograms. The plumage of the wandering albatross changes with age, starting as chocolate brown in juveniles and gradually becoming whiter as they mature. Breeding colonies of the wandering albatross can be found on various islands in the Southern Ocean. They mate for life and typically breed every other year. The nesting period occurs between December and January, during which they lay a single white egg with a few spots. Both parents take turns incubating the egg for approximately 11 weeks. After hatching, the chick is cared for by both parents, who alternate between searching for food and tending to the chick's needs. Wandering albatrosses reach sexual maturity between 11 and 15 years of age and have a relatively low fledgling survival rate of around 31.5 percent. Wandering albatrosses are known for their extensive flights and ability to cover vast distances without flapping their wings for hours at a time. They primarily feed on cephalopods, small fish, crustaceans, and floating animal refuse. These birds are also attracted to ships, following them in search of food. They tend to forage in colder waters further south than other albatross species and have a preference for open ocean habitat. 
habitats. Number six, mute swan. The mute swan is a big water bird that is indigenous to Europe and Asia. With its long neck, snowy white plumage, and striking orange bill, it is well known for its beautiful appearance. Mute swans are among the heaviest flying birds, with male cobs weighing 10 to 12 kilograms on average, and females' pens weighing slightly less. They have a large wingspan of roughly 2.4 to 2.6 meters, allowing them to fly through the air gracefully. These swans can be found in wetlands, lakes, rivers, and estuaries, where they eat aquatic plants, algae, and small crustaceans. Their long necks let them reach underwater vegetation, and their serrated bills aid in filtering food from the water. Mute swans have been observed grazing on land, particularly during the breeding season. Mute swans are monogamous birds that create long-term pair relationships that can last several years or even a lifetime. During courting, the couple performs a graceful swan dance, which includes synchronized swimming, head bobbing, and wing displays. The female constructs a large nest made of reeds, grass, and other plant materials near the water's edge. The female typically lays four to seven eggs, which she incubates for around 35 to 40 41 days. The male stands guard and defends the nest against potential threats. Once the eggs hatch, the cygnets, young swans, are covered in gray, downy feathers. They quickly grow and develop under the care of their parents, who diligently protect and feed them until they are ready to fend for themselves. While mute swans are generally peaceful, they can exhibit aggressive behavior when defending their nests or territories. They are known to engage in wing displays, where they raise and flap their wings to intimidate rivals or perceived threats. However, they are generally docile towards humans, unless provoked or if they perceive their offspring to be in danger. Now it's time for our subscriber's pick. This picture of a massive bird was sent to us by a loyal subscriber. From the picture, it looks like the giant bird is spreading its wings to take flight. Because the image is black and white, it can be hard to tell what exact type of bird this is. Have you ever seen a bird like this? What is the largest bird species you have come in contact with? Like Likely, it is one of the bird species we have introduced you to. Number 5. Marabou Stork the marabou stork, a large wading bird from the stork family Kaikonidae, is native to sub-Saharan Africa. It thrives in diverse habitats, including wetlands, arid regions, and near-human settlements, particularly landfill sites. With its distinct appearance, characterized by cloak-like wings, slender white legs, and a hair-like white mass, it is often called the undertaker bird. Impressively large, the marabou stork stands at about 152 centimeters tall, weighing around 9 kilograms, and boasts a wingspan of approximately 3.7 meters, the largest among living bird species. It has a unique flying style, retracting its neck like a heron. The bird's physical features include a bare head and neck, a black back, white underparts, a massive bill, and a pink guler sack at its throat. Breeding occurs mainly in sub-Saharan Africa, particularly in colonies during the dry season. Females lay two to three eggs in nests, constructed with sticks, and after about 30 days of incubation, the eggs hatch. It takes around four years for young storks to reach maturity. While captive marabou storks can live up to 43 years, their wild lifespan is approximately 25 years. As scavengers, marabou storks have adapted to their feeding behavior with a naked head and long neck. Similar to vultures, they primarily consume carrion, scraps, and feces, but they are opportunistic eaters and will consume various animal matter. During the breeding season, they focus on small live prey for their nestling survival. Additionally, marabou storks are known to wash their food in water to keep it clean. Number 4. Shoebill the shoebill, also known as Balinaceps rex, is a large bird found in the wetlands of East Africa. It is recognized for its distinctive appearance, often called the whale-headed stork, due to its massive bill shaped like a shoe. Growing up to 1.5 meters in height with a wingspan of 2.3 meters, it blends well in its marshy surroundings with its bluish-gray plumage. The shoebill's hooked bill is a specialized tool used to catch fish, amphibians, and occasionally small mammals. These solitary birds are occupy territories of two to four square kilometers, building nests on floating platforms made of aquatic vegetation. Their nests, around 1 to 1.7 meters wide, are partially submerged. Shoebills lay one to three white eggs, which are incubated for about a month. Both parents actively care for the chicks, with the female being slightly more attentive. The young birds fledge at around 105 days and become proficient flyers by 112 days. It takes three years for them to reach sexual maturity. The shoebill faces challenges 
challenges in terms of breeding behavior and population estimation due to its elusive nature and habitat preferences. It is classified as a vulnerable species by the International Union for Conservation of Nature due to habitat loss, hunting, and human disturbances. Conservation initiatives and the establishment of protected areas aim to safeguard the shoebill and its wetland habitats. Number 3. Saris Crane the Saris crane is a large, graceful bird belonging to the family Grudae. It is recognized as the tallest flying bird in the world and holds cultural significance in many parts of its range. Native to the Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia and Australia, the Sarus crane is a majestic and iconic species. The Saris crane is known for its impressive size, with adults reaching heights of up to 6 feet and weighing around 6.5 kilograms. They have long legs, a long neck, and a red-colored head with a patch of bare skin. Their plumage is mostly green gray, but their wings are predominantly white, which becomes apparent during flight. The species exhibits sexual dimorphism, with males being slightly larger than females. These cranes inhabit wetlands, marshes, and grasslands, preferring areas with shallow water and tall vegetation. They have a varied diet consisting of plant matter, seeds, insects, small vertebrates, and even grain crops. Saris cranes are known for their elaborate courtship displays, which involve dancing, calling, and complex movements to establish and maintain pair bonds. Breeding season for Saris cranes varies across their range, usually coinciding with the onset of the monsoon season. They construct large, circular nests made of reeds and vegetation in shallow water or on floating platforms. The female typically lays two eggs, which both parents incubate for about 30 to 35 days. Once hatched, the young cranes remain with their parents for several months, gradually learning to forage and fly. Conservation of the Sarus crane is of high importance due to threats such as habitat loss, pollution, and and hunting. Several organizations and governments have implemented conservation initiatives to protect their habitats and raise awareness about their significance. In some regions, the species is considered a symbol of good luck and is revered, offering them additional protection. Efforts to safeguard the Saru's crane have shown positive outcomes, with conservation measures leading to population stabilization and even growth in some areas. However, ongoing conservation efforts are required to ensure the long-term survival of this magnificent bird. Number 2. Great Buster the Great Bustard, also known as the Otis Tarda, is the sole living member of the Otis genus and belongs to the Bustard family. It breeds in open grasslands and farmland, spanning from northern Morocco, south and central Europe, to temperate Central and East Asia. While European populations are largely resident, Asian populations migrate southwards during winter. Since 1996, it has been classified as a vulnerable species on the International Union for Conservation of Nature Red List. Currently, Portugal and Spain harbor approximately 60% of the global Great Bustard population. Extinct in Great Britain since 1832, reintroduction efforts have shown some success, with around 40 birds now residing on Salisbury Plain, a British Army training area. This secluded location provides suitable habitat for the large, ground-nesting birds. Adult male Great Bustards are among the heaviest flying animals, measuring 90 to 105 centimeters in height, around 115 centimeters in length, and possessing a wingspan of U to 2.7 meters. Males can weigh between 6 and 18 kilograms, with the heaviest recorded specimen weighing approximately 21 kilograms, setting a world record for the heaviest flying bird. Breeding involves competitive displays known as leks, where males strut, puff up their throats, and exhibit various postures to attract females. Breeding occurs in March, with a single male often mating with multiple females. Nests, created by the female, consist of shallow scrapes on dry slopes and plains near previous lek locations. After an incubation period of 21 to 28 days, the female raises the chicks, which leave the nest soon after hatching but stay close to their mother for about a year. Great bustards are omnivorous with their diet varying throughout the year. Green plant material, invertebrates, and seeds form their primary food sources. Insects are vital for young bustards during their initial summer, while adults consume seeds and plant material. Small vertebrates may also be consumed opportunistically. The conservation of great bustards is crucial to preserve their unique behaviors, large size, and preferred habitats. Reintroduction programs and habitat protection are necessary to ensure the survival and continued presence of this vulnerable species. Number 1. Greater Rhea 
The Greater Rhea, also known as Rhea Americana, also known as the American Rhea or Nandu, is a flightless bird species native to South America. It belongs to the family Rhydae, which includes two other species, the Lesser Rhea and the Darwin's Rhea. With its fascinating characteristics and unique behaviors, the Greater Rhea is an intriguing member of the avian world. Greater Rheas are primarily found in the grasslands, savannas, and shrublands of Argentina, Brazil, Bolivia, Paraguay, and Uruguay. They are large birds, standing up to one and a half meters tall and weighing around 25 to 40 kilograms. Females are generally larger and more dominant than males. These birds are well adapted for running and have strong legs with three toes. Their feathers are brownish gray, providing effective camouflage in their natural habitat. Their long necks and small heads contribute to their distinct appearance. Males have a black throat and neck, while females have a light brown or white throat. Greater rheas are omnivorous, feeding on a varied diet that includes plants, fruits, seeds, insects, and small vertebrates. They have a unique digestive system that allows them to consume large amounts of tough vegetation, aiding in their survival in grassland habitats. Breeding behavior in greater rheas is intriguing. They form communal breeding groups where multiple females lay their eggs in a single nest constructed on the ground. The dominant male takes on the responsibility of incubating the eggs, which can number up to 50 or more. This male is highly territorial and aggressively defends the nest and its surroundings. Once the chicks hatch, they are cared for by the dominant male until they are capable of fending for themselves. While greater rheas are not currently considered endangered, habitat loss and hunting have impacted their populations in some regions. Conservation efforts are underway to protect their natural habitats and ensure their long-term survival. We hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.